I'm Reverend Jenkins. I'm interviewing for the pastorate for your church. Why are you so afraid? It's my daughter and my son. They don't know the Lord. Who's going to pray for them when I'm gone? Who's going to lead them to the Lord? How about if I promise you that I'll pray for them and I'll reach out to them and we'll see what the Lord will do. He does love them, you know. I know. Thank you so much. I sort of sense there's something else bothering you. Will I make it to heaven? Oh, for goodness sake, yes. You have served the Lord faithfully. This is the time for your reward. This is to be a time of joy, not of fear. Hmm. Then why am I so afraid? It's just that old devil trying to steal your joy. He's trying to take one last pot shot at you because he knows that you are about to stand before God Almighty and hear those most wonderful words. Well done, you good and faithful servant. If you want me to, I'll get rid of that fear for you. Oh, yes, please. This is easy. There's no problem. And I'll be back in just a second. I got to have a little conversation with the source of that fear. Demon from hell, you listen to me and you listen to me real good. Jesus you know and you know me. You know I'm a woman of the Most High God and inside me dwells the fullness of the Godhead and all the power and authority that they bring. And so now in the name of Jesus, I command you to get your hands off this saint of the Most High. Get out of this room and don't you even think about coming back. Do you understand me? In the mighty name of Jesus, back. It's gone. Fear's gone. Of course it's gone, sweetie. And now in peace and joy, you are about to enter the wonders of eternity with your Lord. I'm so excited for you. Can I come with you? How am I going to get there? How am I going to get to heaven? Well, to be absent from the bodies, to be present with the Lord. And then there are those who Say they've had a visitation, a report that an angel escorted them. <laughs> it is an angel. And I see my parents. They, they were so happy. <sighs> oh. Oh. What is it? I see my other son. I had another son. I lost him in the womb. I, uh, I didn't even know he was a boy. But he's smiling at me and waving. He, he called me mom. I have a son waiting for me. No, no, don't go. No, don't go. Honey, no, 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 no. They haven't gone. They're just a little out of sight, and they're waiting for you. I, I want to go with them. Oh. Then you go ahead and go. Jeannie, your work here on Earth is done, and there's a wonderful place waiting for you. There's a place, oh, there's a place where there's the Father, the sun and the precious Holy Spirit in that place in that place Father I thank you for this precious life and I thank you for the beauty of a godly home going. Oh, Father, you take my breath away. You are so wonderful. I can hardly breathe. I've never seen such a sacred moment. Please call her to my side when it's my time to go, will you? And she'll be there. She's not going anywhere. I can promise you that.
Well, how'd it go? What can we say? We can say that we have just witnessed the most beautiful, the most sacred moment in the history of our church. I'll never forget it. And I've been changed. She will be our pastor. Wait just a minute. With all due respect to the current situation, our bylaws state that the vote must be unanimous, and I still vote N-O. Let me tell you something, you obstinate old man. We just saw the authority of Christ in that woman. There is such power in her, yet such tenderness. When's the last time demons fled at your command, Mr. My Way of the Highway? Listen, stop talking nonsense, woman. My vote is still no. Then my vote will put you and your no vote on the sofa. Deacon Hall, I have respected you for years. Not because of your character, but because of your position. Now, you respect my position as mother of this church. And you listen to me carefully. She may not be as other ministers. And she may be a little crazy, as you say. But after witnessing what we have today, I believe she is anointed of God and that she has been sent here to us as a special gift. I'm sorry. I I've never been one much for going to church. I've never, you know, needed it. But I think I'm ready to try. Oh, bless you, child. Reverend Jenkins is the pastor, right? <laughs>